So the second to last track off of the Beatles revolver is called Got to Get You Into My Life. It was written by Paul. The song pays homage to Motown. Uh-oh. That means I'm going to love it. Uh, <laughs> a lot of brass in- instrumentation. So some trumpets. We're ready. We're ready. Are we going to get funky on this one? It's an ode to pot. It's an ode to pot? <laughs> to weed? Yeah. Whoa. Come okay. From, that's coming from Paul. Paul said, yeah, I made this I made this for <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's my awful Liverpool accent. Paul said, got to get you into my life was one I wrote when I had first been introduced to pot. I'd been a rather straight working class lad. (laughs) But when we started getting into pot, it seemed to me to be quite uplifting. I didn't have a hard time with it. And to me, it was mind expanding, literally mind expanding. So got to get you into my life is really a song about that. It's not to a person. It's actually about pot. It's saying, I'm going to do this. This is not a bad idea. So it's actually an ode to pot like, Someone else might write an ode to chocolate or a good, write a note to chocolate or a good claret. <laughs> I don't know what a, I don't know what a claret is. John said about this track, it's Paul's again. I think that was one of his best songs too, because the lyrics are good and I didn't write them. You see. What are you Irish? <laughs> when I say that he could write lyrics. <laughs> When I, could say, when I say that he could write lyrics if he took the effort, here's an example. It actually describes the experience taking acid. I think that's what he's talking about. I couldn't <laughs> swear to it, but I think that it was a result of that. What? Yeah, he thought it was acid. <laughs> so he's saying that he thinks it's... John thinks Paul's writing this to acid, but won't admit <laughs> to that. He's going to say it's weed. I love how John said he can he can write when he actually puts in the effort. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Yo, John. So the song is sung by Paul McCartney, and he also plays his famous left-handed bass. Uh, John Lennon is on rhythm guitar. Let's go. Uh, George is playing lead guitar, and Ringo, of course, is playing drums, but also a tambourine. And then we also have George Martin on the organ and obviously producing and some trumpet players and saxophone players what earth wood and fire covered this Ooh, so it's got to be funky Mm-hmm. i'm excited i need some funk from the beatles man all right got to get you into my life the, an ode to pot or acid the, the ode to pot john <laughs> thinks it's an ode to acid but paul won't admit that uh, got to get you into my life. Let's dive. I was alone. I took a ride. I didn't know what I would find there. Another road where maybe I could see another kind of mind there. Ooh, Ooh. then I suddenly see you. Did I tell you I need you every single day of my life? You didn't run, you didn't lie, you knew I wanted just to hold you. And had you gone, you knew in time we'd meet again for I had told you. Love it. What can I be when I'm with you? I want to stay there If I'm true, I'll never leave And if I do, I know the way there Ooh, and I suddenly see you Ooh, did I tell you I need you Every single day of my life Ah. I was 
No, don't fade. <sighs> Keep going. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oof. 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 Yeah. 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 That one. That one's up there. That's, yeah. That's breaking my top five. Oh, but there's a lot of good songs on this album. Yeah. This, but man, Paul. When Paul's bringing that energy, man, he can crank it up. Yeah, I love when he sings like that. Um, I love Ringo's drum roll. Yes. Um, the trumpets, you know, add this brightness. Mm-hmm. Uh, the funk. I feel like Paul was like hitting this this pocket. Like yeah. dancing with his melody. Um, yeah, man. George had his little lead guitar <laughs> section. Dude. Sick. Nice. Sick. And it's just about like the feeling that weed gives you and just like how it just makes you feel so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he basically He's had like, a, I need it every day. Yeah, he basically had a smoke weed every day part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I like that. It's like a love song to weed. <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about, Paul. Let's go. Man, I thought that, uh, I thought that Sweet Leaf by Black Sabbath was like the earliest weed song. Right. <laughs> but nah. I mean, he's, and Sweet Leaf... Ozzy's a, a little bit more like straightforward about it being weed. Mm-hmm. This this could apply to a person, mm-hmm. but the fact that it's about weed is hilarious. I mm-hmm. love that. I like that melody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was alone. I took a ride. I didn't know what I would find. <laughs> or find I messed it up there. Find that. Another road where maybe I could see another kind of mind. Did he say it twice? He like kind of pauses yeah, it and then mine. Yeah, there. I'm messing it up a little bit. Yeah, kind of mine there. Yeah. This is a high guy album. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm realizing that. A lot of um, psychedelic. Yeah. And um, uh, just references to drugs. So basically, you know, I took a ride like. I took some drugs, didn't know what I would feel like, another road, um, maybe I could see another kind of mind, like I could open up my mind. Yeah, maybe he was feeling down or something. Expand and my he mind. he needed to, yeah, open his perspective. And that, that's what Paul said we did for him, it expanded his mind. Of course, ooh, then I suddenly see you, ooh, did I tell you I need you every single day of my life? I love the way he sings it. Like, he's, like, dragging it on. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't run. You didn't lie. You knew I wanted just to hold you. (laughs) And I had you gone. You knew in time we'd meet again for I had told you. (laughs) It's like, shoot. I gotta get high again. (laughs) I gotta smoke again, bro. (laughs) And then the chorus. I like how the choruses change the lyrics a little bit. I've mm-hmm. noticed that through a few songs here. Like, they change the lyrics with the chorus, but it's the same, like, melody and arrangement. Just the lyrics are different. Ooh, you were meant to be near me. Ooh, and I want you to hear me. Say we'll be together every day. Got to get you into my life, post-chorus. <laughs> and then, what can I do? What can I be when I'm with you? I want to stay there. <laughs> I want to stay high as shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be loyal to you. I'm loyal. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. What can I do? What can I be? <laughs> if I'm true, I'll never leave. And if I do, I know the way there. Like, I just <laughs> I'll call find, up Doctor Robert. Exactly. I hit up Doctor Robert. Don't worry. <laughs> and then the chorus. Oh, then I suddenly see you. Oh, did I tell you I need you every single day in my life? got to get you into my life i've got to get you into my life then the outro repeats the first verse i was alone i took a ride i didn't know what i would find there another road where maybe i could see another type of mind there and suddenly i see you did i tell you i need you every single day in my life smoke weed every day yeah (laughs) i love it that is so funny man 
I like that it seems like a love song, but it's not. This is definitely the best weed song I've heard from the 60s, I think. <laughs> well, unless unless uh, the Doors are talking about weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bob Marley doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right. Bob Marley does. I'm, I'm like, this is the best song from the 60s about <laughs> weed. I have a Bob Marley shirt on. What am I doing? I'm sorry, Bob. Listen, this, right there too. this is a great song. This is a great song, but when it comes to weed tracks, you're not... That's the king right there. You're not touching. <laughs> but no, I really do like this song, man. It's a nice feel-good track, and, and I love Paul's energy. He's like on cloud nine. Yeah. This person said, not even kidding, I'm playing this song for two hours straight. <laughs> 